I live in Canada, a fantastic multicultural nation. Going through school, I agreed that this was something to be celebrated and something to take pride in. Then I started working retail and I just saw people at their worst. I've had to deal with every type of degenerate, terrible person. The types of people whose cartoonish buffoonery in a polite society would be scoffed at and ridiculed. This is by no means the majority, but it does seem to be okay to take a metaphorical dump on the person that's trying to help you. There is this sense of entitlement that many people feel is owed to them. Let me, let me ask you this question. In, in what world do you think it's acceptable to expect that if you destroy a product, you should be able to come in and get something for free? So if I go and buy a Kia, because let's face it, I work retail, I can't afford anything else. So I have this Kia, and I take it out and I wrap it around the telephone pole. Can I go call up Kia and say, yeah, I need a new car for free? I would love that world, and who wouldn't? It'd be a place where actions had no consequences and vaginas grew on trees. The worst thing is, is that the great people you do get to meet on a daily basis are sometimes forgotten because of the few bad apples that spoil the barrel. I have been called every sort of name. I've been spit on, I've been yelled at, I have had my sexual proclivities questioned, plus, and I really, really hate saying this, but I feel it's made me a tad racist. Certain ethnicities are always looking for a deal. This isn't the bazaar. You get to pay what the tag says. There's no haggling. Whatever the freaking price is, is what you're gonna freaking pay. Blah! You know what? I get it. I really have no right to complain. I was born white in North America. I've gotten it pretty easy. But just because I happen to work retail does not make me less of a person. The true quality of a person is not shown in how they treat their peers, but in how they treat those who are less fortunate. I don't care how much money you make, or what kind of car you drive, or how long it took you to drive to the mall. But, I mean, if you want to hold hands and believe our own hype, maybe that'd just be a whole lot easier. That way, I won't have to get so mad I want to punch a baby in the face. A white baby, I'm not that racist. Blah!